This little island in Stein am Rhein in northeastern Switzerland is home to a group of six Franciscan monks. The Order of Friars Minor was founded 800 years ago by Francis of Assisi and has spread around the world. Like Francis, the monks of the Wert Island live in poverty, obedience and celibacy. The day starts at 7 o'clock when the friars gather in the chapel for morning worship. After Mass, they all enjoy a hearty breakfast before starting work. 41-year-old brother Benno Maria is head of the group. At around nine, he embarks on his work, crossing the 200-metre-long wooden bridge that connects the island to the mainland. In the past, the Franciscan monks looked after lepers. Francis saw Christ in the suffering and sick. Today, drug addiction is a modern kind of leprosy. In our affluent society, hunger and social welfare are not a big issue anymore. So we take to the streets to bring hope to drug addicts and to offer counselling. Benno's first stop is a school. Here he informs children about the dangers of different drugs, but also tells them about his personal life and how he became a Franciscan monk 18 years ago. I've always been an inquisitive person with a natural relationship to God. I used to work as a carpenter. I had lots of colleagues and a girlfriend and expected to raise a family. But then I had a growing feeling that I hadn't yet found my true purpose. I read a book on Francis of Assisi and I knew that this would be my path, although I could not imagine then how I would live without women. It was my girlfriend who suggested I should visit a monastery. Leaving my old life was painful, but I realized that this was my place and so I entered the order. The next task takes Benno to Zurich, to the new home of a couple Benno had helped through hard times in their lives. As a drug addict, Doris was several times close to death, but now she's been clean for two years. Today, Benno blesses the couple's new apartment. <laughs> Before retreating to the island, there's still time left to go to the streets. Benno often visits this part of Zurich. The Langstrasse is known as being where the city's prostitutes, drug addicts and homeless people are to be found. I believe that every person has his own individual nature and inner calling, but often the expectations of the family or the demands of society obscure it. For me, the meaning of life is to find your true path and to live your calling. Mm.